Hi, and welcome to the Daisy Chain Challenge uh, in Khan Academy's Making Web Pages Interactive with jQuery course. Let's go ahead and begin our challenge for today, which is to create a daisy, is our first step in our path to creating a daisy chain. All right, so it says, in this empty web page, you'll create a daisy chain composed of multiple images of daisies next to each other. For the first step, use jQuery to create a new image element, set the source to a picture of a daisy, set the width attribute to a small number, and set an alt attribute. Finally, append it to the page with append to. Chain all the jQuery methods together so that you can accomplish all of that in one line of code. Right on. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and first thing we wanna do is create an image element. So we have our script tag, and within that script tag, I'm gonna put my image, and I'm gonna start out with a dollar sign because we're doing this in jQuery. And in order to create an image tag, I need parentheses, quotations, and these tag little carrots, and then image. I believe, if I recall correctly, this is how you create an a new element within jQuery. I might have to check that again, but we'll see. Okay, so we are we just learned about chaining jQuery methods in the last video. So um, let's see. Well, what does it ask us to do next? It says set the source to a picture of a daisy. All right. So what we learned is we can do all chaining is all about saving lines of code. So when we set the source, we could go atra. We want our new attribute of this image element to be a source. And then it says to a picture of a daisy. And here they have handily supplied us with uh, a daisy we can use. So I could go our source image. I want it to be this link. Put that in there. All right, um, so this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do it in one line of code. However, Pamela showed us in the last video that it, um, she would like to do it this way so that it's easier to read. I think that JavaScript reads it all as one line, but if you break it up with this period, uh, it, just, it just makes it easier to read, which <clears throat> I kind of prefer for now. Not that I have a ton of experience, but so far, I'm gonna do it this way because I like it. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Um, okay, but you could put it all in one line if you wanted to. So, uh, so we set the source to a picture of a daisy. Now we set the width attribute to a small number. All oh, right. Whoops. Unexpected end of input. Ah, uh, our own nose guy popped up, and we're just gonna ignore him for now. I don't think. I think it's gonna be resolved. Um, all right, so Atra, we want to change the width attribute. So I'm gonna go width in quotations, comma, and then let's go with 50 pixels. So it's small, but not too small. All right, cool. We just set the width attribute of the daisy image. Now let's see what they want us to do next. Set an alt attribute. Okay, so we need to set the alt text to a daisies are white and yellow so a white and yellow daisy cool um do you need to put an image of a white and yellow daisy i think if someone's using a screen reader they'll know it's an image but i'm gonna look that up so I know in my code going forward. For now, I'm just gonna stick with this simple description. Okay, a white and yellow daisy. And now what does it ask us? Finally, append it to the page with append to. Okay, so I'm gonna go dot append to, and I wanna append it to the body. So I'm gonna go like that. Awesome, so we have our picture of the small and white, uh, small yellow and white flower. Um, and I'm gonna change the alt attribute to say on a dark green background, <laughs> just so I can, I don't know, I wanna be specific because it has this nice green background. All right, so append to body, hopper has hopped up. We completed 
this first step, let's go on to the next one. All right, so it says in this step, use a for loop to call that code at least five times so that the web page displays a chain of daisies across it. Cool. Um, awesome, so we wanna start with a for loop and we want all this stuff to be what's repeated because uh, we wanna create five more instances of this image element and all of this attributes and append it each time to the body. Okay, because it's a chain. So I'm going to start my for loop up here and I'm going to initialize it by going variable i get zero or let i get zero and then while i is less than <clears throat> five because it says at least five times um, well how about six while i is less than six increase i by one each time and then run this code awesome all right, so we have our chain of daisies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, we completed it. Let's see. Anything else? Let's try changing, just for funsies, let's try changing some of this stuff. Nice. Okay, so I changed the width attribute to 100, so our daisies are bigger. I kind of want to change this number to see what will happen. I'm Actually, I already see that this wraps to the next line, which is cool, but let's change that number to 20. Haha, -ha, now we have all of these daisies, a screen full of daisies. Awesome. Uh, Hopper says incredible. So if you completed this challenge, incredible job to you as well. And oh, our last step is, does your page have a daisy chain now? Yes, it is. I, yes, it does. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're done. And uh, if you like this video or you found it helpful, uh, go ahead and click like. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.